Hello, my name is Bruce and I'm an Information System Security Engineer. I've been doing this since the year 2000, but I've been doing security since 1996. And I guess I'm dating myself, but I have a wealth of knowledge that I want to share with you. Okay, so particularly if you're thinking about going into the IT career field for security. First of all, IT is a very, very broad area. If you say that you're going into IT, if you say that to somebody who's already in the IT career field, um, it's a, <laughs> they're gonna say, "Well, what you know, what what branch?" Because there's so many different branches, and as time goes on, these branches have split off in many different areas. You've got software developers, you've got network security engineers, you've got network engineers, you've got firewall specialists, firewall administrators, system administrators, you've got help desk, you've got many, many different branches of information technology. So it's a very broad subject. But I want to talk to you about my career field, um, information security, and one branch of that because there's information security actually is its own another branch that branches off in many different areas. Encryption, pen tester, or black hat ha hackers. You've got white hat hackers and software security, firewall administration, routing security. You've got many different branches of just this one part of IT and I want to tell you about one that a lot of people don't know about. Less than 1% that knows about this particular field that I'm in and it's risk management framework or risk management. It used to be called uh, certification and accreditation. Now it's, it's going by a, lot, a couple different names. It's GRC. I know people kick that name around. I know it is risk management. A lot of people think it's just documentation and it's not. It's actually knowing the whole process that's involved with this and the great thing about it is you really don't have to be super technical. Uh, you do need to know what risk management framework is all about. You do need to know this stuff and I talk about this on another video that breaks down at a high level the whole process. But for this career field what you really need is, and I'll just be very frank with you, at least a bachelor's degree and um, you should probably get something called a security plus or a cap, the ISC2 cap is, is a very good certification to get for this field because it kind of breaks down all of the common body of knowledge that you're going to need to know to do this stuff. So right now there's a big need for people who know something called NIST. NIST, in particular, NIST, the NIST Special Publication 800 series. And there's a few that you really need to know. And that's NIST SP 837, NIST 800 SP 53A and um, NIST 853. Uh, those those three that are kind of like um, very important to know if you're getting into this career field. What you need to know about it is, is there's always a need for it, but as a minimum, they're going to want you to have those certifications. One of those one or two of those certifications that I mentioned, the top of the tier, top tier one would be a CISSP, which is much harder to get and requires that you have been in this career field for about five years mm -hmm. but very doable and if you get it you won't have a problem getting jobs and then of course a bachelor's degree most contracts and most organizations will require you to get a bachelor's for your degree but not all sometimes you can even come off cold off the street and so long as you have experience with it you could you could probably get yourself into a into an organization but it's best to have definitely have uh, that bachelor's degree in IT but it could be in science, it could be in um, computer science, it can be in something technical, usually is what they're looking for. And if you have experience, if you're coming from being a help desk guy or if you're coming from being a server administrator, that's even better because it gives you a background, a technical background that puts you, that allows you to know certain things that a lot of policy, pure policy guys don't know. And um, that's it, I just wanted to let you know in this great opportunity that's out there that uh, we need we really need more people to do this stuff they're always looking for people to do it a lot of the pure technical guys don't like getting into it because it's a lot of documentation and it's a lot of coordination with upper level management so that gets into a whole different headache of you know usually pure technical guys want to just do pure technical stuff and they want to talk to the managers as little possible as little as possible but this is a great field to get in. It pays really well uh, because there's very little competition for it and uh, very few people will actually want to do it or have the qualifications to do it. But really, 
It's just the cap or security plus or both and then a, a four-year degree and then knowing that NIST standard. If you have those things down, you can do this and it it's a very good path to go in. You, from here, you can go technical or you can go into a management area. It also gives you other methods to go into other uh, fields if you if you want. So that's it.